Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we created and displayed the menus. In this video I'm going to edit and delete them. So if I go to the edit URL, right now we're not returning the view from the controller. So let's go and work with that. Let's open this with VS Code. Open the menu controller and let's see in the edit we are not returning the view. So, first let's go in the views, resources, views, uh, admin menus. We have only create an index. We need also the edit. So, let's save this uh, create blade as edit blade. So, save us and Change the name to be edit. Okay. And in the edit method, I'm going to inject the menu model menu dollar sign menu and return the view admin uh, menus index edit and add the menu here. Okay, let's save it. Come here and refresh. And yeah, we need also the categories here. So let's say dollar sign categories is going to be with category all. And uh, add the categories in the compact. So Let's save it. Undefined variable, not dollar sign, just categories like this. Uh, refresh. Yeah. And here we have all the categories. But we need to add, so let's open the edit blade in the menu and let's make some changes first i'm going to say in the name add the value and dollar sign menu name in the image now uh, i'm going to display the same thing we have done with edit i'm going to display the image before the input so let's copy this before the input, let's display the image. Just change the category with menu. Okay, also in the price, we need to add the value to display the price, dollar sign, menu, price. In the description, also. Let's add dollar sign menu description. Okay. And we have the categories here. Let's save this right now and refresh. And yeah, we have the name, we have the image, the price, and the description. Now, if I click a uh, update here so let's say update we need to update the menu so for that let's go to the form because we need to change the method so he first change the row to be update and now override the method to be put Okay, let's save it. Now go to the controller and in the update. Uh, let's open the category controller because it's almost the same. So let's copy from update in the category controller and paste it in here. 
Okay. We need to validate the name, description, and also the price. Dollar sign. Uh, sorry. Required. Now the image we need to instantiate it with the menu image and add the menu here so menu dollar sign menu okay after that now if the request has file image we need to delete the first image and import the storage facade change this to b menu so if we have a file image we, de we delete this image from and instantiated the image with a new one and also change the directory to be a menu menus and update the menu so dollar sign menu update the name description image and the price dollar sign request price after that we need to go to the road admin uh, menus index let's save it come here and refresh and yeah we need to add the menu id here okay now let's say pizza updated and click on update we redirect back and we have the pizza updated let's, let's change the the image and the price right now so choose another image and i'm going to choose this one and the price is going to be 50. okay also change the description to see and is updated with change the image and also the price okay very good now let's work with categories because if i select categories here now and click update and also if i open a category menu a refresh we don't have relationship because in the menu controller in the update method we not going we are not doing anything here uh, let's remove this show method because we don't need that so let's copy this uh, from the store method if we have the categories and after we update the menu I'm going to say if the request has categories dollar sign menu categories and sync the categories new categories here okay let's save it and uh, refresh let's go here select one two categories click update if i go now here and refresh yeah we have two categories for the menu id one very good now if i go again here i want to show uh, the categories who is selected okay so we have two categories but we don't know now if we have categories uh, selected categories for this and to do that let's uh, go to the edit and in here i'm going to say selected and this is the laravel 9 feature i'm going to say dollar sign menu and because this is a many to many relationship we need to check menu categories uh, sorry menu categories contains if the 
menu categories contains the category. It's going to be selected. So let's save this and refresh. And is selected. Let's go to the index and we have the menu with ID3 has one category, which is ID3. So let's select this one. And you see here is only one category selected. Okay, so if I select not two of them, click update, come here, refresh. Now we we add also the category with ID four to the menu with ID three. Let's remove the the Laravel from here and click update. Come here and refresh. Now we remove it the category one from the the category three from the menu with ID three. Okay. But let's go ahead. see now we have only inertia.js selected. Okay, now let's work with uh, delete. And uh, if I open the index blade in the menus, we add the menu destroy, the menu ID. And let's go to the menu controller. We have the destroy here. Let's add the menu dollar sign menu and first we need to delete the image and after delete the menu okay so let's add that and let's say menu delete and after that let uh, return to the road admin menus index. Let's save it. Refresh. Delete this one. Are you sure? Click OK. And we delete. Delete this one. And we delete. Okay, friends, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.